Skip. Skip. But when does this game get fucking good? Modded Skyrim VR is perfect. Sometimes. I can't move, I'm stun more. So you're doing blackface now. <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm so sick of him. No, he crashed my game. He crashed. Fucking hate this game. I've spent a few hours in Skyrim VR and I have some thoughts. But what has brought about these important thoughts is an anime. Yes, okay, laugh it up, laugh it up. Anime plus Skyrim VR equals no bitches. I get it. Let's move on. This is a very important subject. Anyway, Sorta Online. Okay. Yeah, okay. I get it. I get it. The concept of the show is pretty simple. A guy is trapped in a VR MMO RPG, something like Skyrim. And I have a part of this anime stuck in my head ever since I watched it some years back. And that's the cooking scene. And I remember this distinctly for two reasons. Number one. <laughs> and number two, the actual cooking scene, where it is established skills and levels are similar to Skyrim, except every process is done by hand. You might say, Melo, what the f are you talking about? This is an anime. And to that, I say, What the f did you say, you goddamn slut? Skyrim VR is perfect. But there are things that could be added that would be amazing. Like being able to physically do shit with their hands. And it seems like modders are already on this task. Cause take a look at this. By placing it in the water trough. <laughs> you see this shit crafting in real time? I want this shit injected right into my bloodstream. You see this? Real time alchemy, so I can finally be the Walter White of Skyrim. No, Dragonborn. Please no more. I can't keep cooking this filth. I won't cook any more skooma for you. I'm out! Are you done? This shit is awesome. And to clarify, I'm no modder. I don't know how the logistics work. I don't know how these mods work. I just demand things and hope someone else has already done all the hard work for me. With that being said though, I assume it works similar to the mod Be Seated. The mod Be Seated is awesome because it allows you to sit down and eat. I know, amazing. But no, actually it's really cool and really sad because there's nothing like sitting down after a long adventure and looking at your delicious steak and your brain priming all your taste receptors as you start drooling to taste absolutely f nothing oh you want some you want some oh you want some don't you little baby um delicious tastes like nothing Anyway, if you've ever played Oblivion, or should I say replayed Oblivion recently, you probably realized something about the NPC conversations. Farewell. Greetings, Redguard. What do you want, Breton Trash? What's going on with you? What? What the fuck? I'd like to think we're past the days of janky NPC dialogue, or maybe just a different kind of jank, but something that makes me think those days are behind us is AI. Yeah, bet you didn't see that coming. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. No, but this new technology has the potential to revolutionize Skyrim modding and just the whole RPG industry as a whole, if they get their heads out of their asses. Because the last good AAA RPG I played was The Witcher 3. But putting aside the shitfest that is the gaming industry, as I speak, people way smarter than me have already started projects using AI NPCs. I can, like, go on an adventure with? Oh, that is one of the toughest warriors around. But I'm afraid he wouldn't be interested in teaming up with someone who just started being an adventurer. Like, apparently people have simulated NPC villages doing tasks and having parties all through an AI-driven world. Like, unironically, that's some Matrix shit. 
And even more than that, the Skyrim modder that I think that goes by Block has already implemented AI chatbots into Skyrim to give the wet blanket characters that had the personality of a doorknob some actual interesting dialogue. No, my Thane. I camped close to the Khajiit camp. I suspect they may have stolen my mead, but I have no proof. Is there anything else you need from me? Thank you for your concern, my Thane. I can handle the situation myself. I will be more careful around the Khajiit in the future. Wait. I know you. Ah, you have a keen eye. My name is Rolf, and I serve the honorable duty of protecting Whiterun as a guard. Like a shield that defends against the piercing arrows of danger, I stand vigilant against all threats to our fair city. Okay, so now imagine Bethesda or Todd Howard had the technology we have now to make their future games. And it's our biggest one yet. It is four times the size. Actually, Bethesda, my hopes and dreams are in the hands of the modders, because they're the ones working miracles. Hey guys, I know this is different from my regular uploads, but if you enjoyed, hit the like button. I might do this from time to time alongside my regular gameplays. Um, yeah, anyways, that's all for now. See you in the next one.